everybody. So today I'm going to make lamb shoulder chops with mashed potatoes and uh, I'm going to be cooking outside and I'm going to be using my tripod barbecue grill. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. So I'll be showing it. So I'm going to uh, cook outside today and have fun. Uh, it's like lamb shoulder chops. Um, it's like a little bit tough meat so I would braise it first sear it on my barbecue grill and then braise it so that's what I'm planning to do today I'm trying to make some mint chutney if I have time I'll do it so let's start the fire and then start the lamb shoulder chops so while the fire is on I've been pounding the coriander, one tablespoon coriander and one tablespoon black pepper. I'm just pounding it and coarsely grinding it, not very small but like coarsely grinding it. So I almost have a tablespoon of that and I have paprika, I have cayenne pepper. So I'm going to be marinating the lamb chops, shoulder chops. Okay, first I'm going to put the coarsely ground coriander and black pepper on the board. Just need to watch my fire and some paprika some cayenne pepper a little bit of Himalayan salt okay so what I'm gonna do I have some olive oil I'm gonna rub the olive oil Don't need the olive oil anymore. I have some rosemary, dried rosemary. I'm just gonna put a little bit, crush it a little bit. It's just for the flavor. Okay. So I have the olive oil. The oil is gonna take the coriander. The paprika. I will need some more of the coriander powder. It's a coriander and black pepper I pounded. Little bit of paprika. A bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of salt. So I'm just adding coriander, that's my Indian touch. But coriander goes very well with barbecue. Cumin and turmeric can get burnt and like taste bitter. So I usually put coriander and black pepper. So that's pretty much marinated. Looks nice. Beautiful color. So I'm going to let it marinate until my fire is all set to go. Okay. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to cover it and put it in a box. I'm going to come back, make my fire ready for the chops to be grilled on and then we'll go from there. So now I'm going to sear the lamb chops. We don't want fire. There's already oil on the shoulder so it won't stick.
I'm going to sear it three minutes each side, three minutes. So it's not sticking because I put oil while marinating. So it's good. So. heat is coming through the wood we don't need the fire we need the charcoal like the fire from the charcoal not the roaring fire so just want it to sear properly give it five minutes Let it sear. I don't want to meddle with that. This is going to make it sear outside and all the juice will go inside. The lamb fat will drip and then the fatty smell will go. This is like flavor, putting the flavor into the meat before braising it. Isn't that interesting? Well, this is my first time I'm trying on this. Should work. Hmm. It's like a tough meat, so it'll taste very nice when you braise it for a long time. So, like three minutes on one side. I'm going to try and turn it. Here you go. Maybe some more time. The color, I want the color. That's awesome. This meat is a little bit cheaper compared to the lamb chops itself right so now it's like after three minutes three to four minutes each side I'm taking it off the grill to get ready for the braising Okay. So this coal is enough for braising. If I want, I'll add some more coal. So we'll see how it goes. So that's how it looks. Mmm, awesome. So while my cast iron pan is ready for braising, the grilled lamb shoulder chops is, re is just resting right now. So for the sauce, for braising liquid, I'm adding, I'm going to start cutting shallots. So I'm going to cut. Cutting two shallots. I have five to six garlic. I didn't put garlic in the lamb shoulder because I don't want the garlic to burn in the fire. You gotta be very careful with putting the garlic on fire. It can burn and make the whole thing bitter. You gotta be careful. I added three to four garlics. Chopping him, chopping them as the same size as the shallots. Now 
when it braises for a long time it's going to be in the on the grill for a while now so that is ready this is my chicken stock sorry it's like my beef stock that i made last week so my beef stock is ready my wine is ready i have a leftover white wine that's fine i do, you don't need like red wine whatever you have so what i'm going to do is add some butter little bit so you can see i added some butter little bit the cast iron pan was already putting the shallots garlic this is my first time i'll get used to it getting is always a first time for everything rocky <laughs> I'm not adding like too much like spices and all that because the hero of the show is the lamb shoulder chops and you don't want to overpower and it's the technique that we're cooking so we grilled it and we're braising it that is for the texture and to meat to fall off the bone so it's the technique and the most important flavor so you don't have to overdo So now I'm adding I had only a little bit of wine Let's put the white wine I'm putting the beef stock Maybe a little bit of water some salt some pepper for the herb wise i'm just going to put like rosemary little bit and i have some fresh mint from the garden I'm just going to put little bit for the flavor mint and lamb goes really well i may be making like a yogurt dip when i have time so now i want that to boil a little bit so i can put the meat in there There's a little bit of heat coming up. You can see the cast iron pan. Actually, they can hold the heat like really well. Right now, if I touch, I can burn my fingers. So that's how hot the cast iron pan would be. So they used to call them as like Dutch oven or something like that. This is how they pressure cook the stuff before, right? The food. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the meat. in there all the juice in there
and cover this and see if you put it directly on the fire it's going to burn so it's like pressure cooking so i will be putting some coal on top of the um, cover after a while so for now i just wanted to heat a little bit let the sauce boil then i'll come back and put some coal on top and let it cook for like 2 hours so in very slow while that is braising I got some, I had like red potatoes, it's fine. I peeled the skin, I cooked them very soft and then mashed them really well. Put some cream in it so it will stay hydrated, I don't want it to get dry. So that is my side dish for the lamb. So usually potatoes, meat, it's going to be awesome. Eh? So for the potato, I'm going to have a little bit of an Indian touch. So how we usually have potatoes like for a roti or puri. So what we mash, but we don't mash it fully. But I'm going to use that flavor in this potato. It won't have any garam masala. It won't have any cumin, nothing. It's just like how for the Asian, for the Asian food, you use red chili and garlic. We use green chilies you can get it this indian stores now you get in all the stores even in walmart walmart has a section where there's all these indian stuff they even have curry leaves now I, i'm so surprised in moncton they have all that so i'm gonna chop it even a little bit i had le some leftover so i'm just gonna flavor the butter before i finish i'm gonna melt the butter a little bit and then add this to it not all of it maybe this much green chilies for that potato it won't be that spicy okay so this is the flavor i'm giving the indian flavor this is how we make potato masala for the dosa and all that eh? we make masala dosa for roti puri it's the base for lots of stuff in south india as a chef i think i have i have to be uh, like you know teaching people about the south indian flavor People don't know much about South Indian flavor. I think I, I have the responsibility to tell people there's a lot of vegetarian dishes, gluten-free. We eat a lot of rice. We don't eat wheat. So if you need gluten-free recipes, South Indian food is the way to go. Like we have lots of vegetarian and then the flavor is pretty much this, like it's onion. But I'm not using regular onion. I'm just using shallot. Just adding some garlic. We put a lot of garlic in the potato. It can take it. I'm not putting any curry, nothing. Okay. This is just the flavor. We even do the shark like that. South Indians, we do shark like potato. Similar. We put onion, chilies and uh, garlic lots of garlic that's all we put for the shark uh, we call it sora puttu it's like a shark uh, mash pretty much a mash like a tuna fish it's like amazing flavor see i come from a place like south india and we are non brahmins so we are called like we have this mudliyar food like which is like very popular in chennai We make a lot of non-vegetarian and all our, all these are, we learned from my grandmother. So I don't want to put too much garlic. It's all like really tiny, very, 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 very small. The chilies too. If you, if you can't take the heat, you can put green pepper or one chili and rest you can put green pepper. I don't want to put coriander or anything, but with my, I'm going to make a yogurt dip. So with that, so what I'm going to do now, 
I'm going to put all this in my butter. And add it to my mashed potatoes. The flavor will be unbelievable. I already put some salt and pepper and cream. It's already in there. Almost two to three tablespoon butter. I know it's rich, but quantity, you have to have very less quantity. You can have like three, four scoops, right? So I'm just going to melt this in the fireplace while the lamb chop, lamb shoulder chops is braising. To be careful with fire, it's very hot today. This is the mint and coriander I just planted two weeks before. It's already coming up. I'm going to use that for my yogurt dip for so these are the coriander I just washed it so you don't need too much I'm only one person today I I didn't invite anybody I love lamb shoulder <laughs> so <laughs> I want to enjoy my food this is my first time so I wanted to experiment and see how this whole grill works so You don't need a lot. So, this is my yogurt with coriander, mint, some salt, little bit of pepper. I would put Two, three green chilies for me. I know. We can handle the heat, right? The little bit of water, I'm going to remove it. So, this is the yogurt dip. So, I'm pouring the butter, melted butter garlic, green chilies and mixing it. Okay. I'm going to reheat it so the garlic and the shallots will get cooked really well. I'll add some water, put it on the grill so slowly it will heat up too. Then I'll have amazing mashed potato with my lamb shoulder chops and my yogurt dip. Oh, that's yummy. What a combination. So this will be going on the grill and slow for a while. I may put a little bit more water. I know. But you don't want the potato to get like roasted. We want mashed potatoes. So I just had like few red potatoes so I just did it that way I'm gonna taste and see mm. holy it's a flavor we're talking about it's not even spicy I don't need to put black pepper Mmm, that's Indian mashed potato, my version, South Indian mashed potato, <laughs> that's my version, because that flavor with garlic onion, mmm, 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 here you go, now let's see what's happening with the braising the lamb chops whoa nice mm, it smells so good i wish you guys like can smell it so i'm gonna let it like it's been half an hour since i've been braising this so i want it to go for another one and a half hours 
so while that was happening I'm just putting some coal on top of it oh that fire smell some on top too and then it becomes an oven so after an hour I think um, I'll leave it for another hour slow cooking is always best you just need patience and it'll get better and better after two hours mashed potato warming up the mashed potato is warmed up and uh, I'm removing all the fire have a broom here I can use got everything from my fireplace I don't want that ash falling inside the dish. Big reveal. After two hours. Oh la la. Beautiful. It's very hot. Oh wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. It's time to plate and uh, I'll show you how I plate my lamb shoulder chops. It's ready. Here I am. That is falling off the bone. After two hours, that's how it is. It's awesome. Falling off the bone. Gonna have some of the sauce on there. My mashed potato. With the Indian touch. And my yogurt dip for the lamb chops. Some mint. some mint, some coriander here you go isn't that awesome
Well, it's tasting time. Let's see. The water. Just want to see how it falls off the bone. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, the smoky flavor. Mm -mm. The sauce. Mm. Mashed potato. Indian touch. Mm. Ooh la la. See how it cuts off, comes off the bone. Just like that. Falls off the bone. Wow. It's awesome. Mmm. Mmm. With the yogurt chutney. Mmm. -mm. That's the mint and yogurt. Oh. Green chilies have good flavor. Mm. It's so super. Hallelujah. I think I'm going to be cooking with this tripod grill a lot. Next, I'm going to bake a sourdough bread or a regular bread in this cast iron pan. Mmm. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, comment, and thank you so far whoever subscribed and watched the video and enjoyed.